Hello, I am FuryCat, and welcome back to our RimWorld Let's Play, our Tribal Royalty Run. So last time um, we had a fair bit going on. We got a little bit of um, reward from the Empire for dealing with a uh, pack of man-hunting elk, which sadly all the corpses for that became rotted immediately because of the Scaria disease, so we didn't get any meat out of that. Um, we actually ran very low on food. We ran out of food and people were starting to suffer from starvation. So we risked hunting uh, some muffalos, which went well. None of them decided to revenge. So we got quite a bit of meat out of that, which has actually already largely been turned into, uh, <laughs> into meals. So we're probably going to do that again. Um, people's moods are pretty low. Um, so I'm a little bit concerned. We've had a couple of mental breaks. We've had a couple of social fights. Nat! is determined to just keep biting people, which I don't know what that's all about. Uh, I wonder if it's something in his bio, maybe. Incapable of social, yeah, that shows. Um, but uh, we do now have um, some better melee weapons, a bunch of guns, so we're a little bit better armed. We've started uh, setting up deconstruction of uh, this area here. We're going to basically try and clear some space here so we can... Um, I think we're going to break this up and uh, kind of spread our housing out a little bit. Um, and I think we're probably going to have to do another uh, hunting expedition because yeah, I think Thor's just finished off the last of our raw meat. And we've only got 24 meals, so we're probably going to need to take care of that fairly soon uh, here. So, uh, let's see, we had a visitor... Uh, oh, there's a few items to trade. Uh, you can ask get out there. Let's go and see. What are you? You're way out there, gathering us some components. Uh, we're going to be perpetually short on components. We may want to see what we can do about um, getting to the point where we can make them. Uh, okay, let's see. What can we sell here? Uh, sure, we can get rid of that. Uh, we'll get rid of our pila. We may as well sell all these weapons off because. Most of them are kind of poor quality and low, a bit low tech for us. We'll go ahead and get rid of all of that. It gets us a bit of money out of them. Do you have anything worth buying? You've got pemmican. Yeah, I think we're going to buy all your pemmican just because food has been so touch and go here lately that, you know, we, we need everything we can get. And we're still making a small profit there, so... Okay, yeah, we'll do that. That's it. That looks that looks good to me. Uh, Right. What else do we need to be thinking about doing? We really need this deconstructing work. It looks like Beaver's finishing flooring the kitchen in for us. Uh, so that's nice. We're gradually getting to the point where... Uh, oh, we've got a gift left for us as well. What did they leave us? Sheep wool war veil and a cloth war veil. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I suspect what we'll probably use them for is to sell them to another... Uh, another person. See, now this is a problem. We've got people coming in through here. I wonder if we should maybe put another door on the other side of our storeroom there. Although if we're going to rethink the structure of our base, then we can maybe hold off on doing that. Yeah, Beaver's now hard at work deconstructing all this. That's good. We probably want to get him to take the floors up as well. Um, that'll get us a little bit more in the way of um, probably stone blocks, I would imagine. But yeah, let's just go ahead and deconstruct all that. Uh, yeah, deconstruct you as well. I don't know how you got missed in the first pass, but let's get rid of all of that. Uh, now let's have a look. We could maybe even also... Uh, mind you, we still got poor beavers like our only construction person, still. Um, you didn't suck at construction. I might actually think about trying to recruit you, but... Yeah. We're just breaking his resistance down, mostly for social practice, for um, for Cavanas, I'm pretty sure it is. I've got Wardening. He's not great at it, and he doesn't have a passion, but... Um, Beaver does, but Beaver's just so busy that I'd rather have somebody else doing it. So yeah, it's Kevin S. I'm going for a wee, a wee chat with <laughs> Scorpion's having a wee chat with Parish there. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna need to uh, in the morning go on another muffalo hunting expedition. Maybe this group here. That's four. Oh goodness, a manhunter pack. Uh, let's see what do we got. Man hunting monkeys. Uh, that's a good few monkeys. Uh, is anybody actually outdoors at the moment, or can we just kind of let them? I mean, 
whole bunch of people are outdoors. Okie dokie. That's... I will let Parish continue to rest. Let's draft you lot. Uh, how are we going to deal with this? Let's get everybody down this end first. Anybody else outside? Beaver's working away over there, but that's fine. Okay, let's come out this door. Let's uh, time at a reasonable pace. Let's everybody come out this door and we'll see if we can pick them off. One or two at a time. There you go. It's looking a bit risky. Get it. Ah, shoot that one. Uh, oh, Scorpion can't do. Run away, Scorpion! Get that one! Get it! No, not you, Scorpion. Oh god, no, Scorpion, get out of the way. Okay, that was messier than I would have really wanted it to be. <laughs> but, you know, they're dealt with now. And again, it looks like we can't get any usable meat out of them, so they can just go in our dumping zone. Uh, anybody seriously hurt? You're bleeding a little bit. You're you're fine. Uh, Cavanas, you've been punched a little bit by, by a monkey, but you, what, what's going on with Beaver? Oh god! He, oh, fight back, man! You've got a mace. And there you go. Oh, hey, we get might get usable. Yeah, that that's fine. Uh, okay, and draft. Okay, well um, we didn't really make the best of that, but at least it's dealt with. Uh, yeah, so we're thinking about what can we do to improve our base defenses. I mean, I think one of the first easiest things we could do is maybe pop a wall up here. And that at least restricts and then coming in down from this way. And then maybe a wall here and here. Those are fairly easy to do. So that means that any attacks that we're going to deal with are definitely going to come at us from this kind of direction, which means we can kind of co at least concentrate our defenses to one side. Although I don't really want to queue it up just yet because, you know, once again, it's Beaver that's our only construction person. Uh, everybody else is just terrible at it. And that's three. Hmm... What else is Nat doing? He's doing plant work, which, well, it's the winter, so there's none of that. So really, he's mostly cleaning stuff. Okay, well, let's let's throw Nat into construction. He can at least help with some of this deconstructing work. Now let's go ahead and speed time up again. It'd be nice to get a period of time where, you know, half our colonists are not, <laughs> are not all injured. It would make a pleasant change. Uh, but I don't know if we're going to see that anytime soon. Okay, where, how are we looking? We're good. Ten components. We've got 170 steel, so we're reasonably good there. Once we deconstruct all this, we're going to have a, a sorted pile of blocks. Uh, and then we need to think about... You know, that might not be a terrible use for the sandstone we're building up. Because we can at least make the wall here out of sandstone. A uh, paramedic is passing by. Okay. Uh, I think we can really do anything with him, so just wave as he passes. Uh, that's marble. Oh, that's oh, good grief, really? Mad wild boar that's assaulting beaver. Just beat it to death, man. Come on, beat it down. Bit harder. Oh, good. That's just. Okay, Galga, get over there. Get just. Go deal with that. Shoot it. There you go. <sighs> Beaver, could you pick your mace back up? I'll allow your meal. I badly hurt you. You're. Bleeding profusely. <laughs> like seriously, this is the way this is going. You think we were like Randy Random? <laughs> uh, Beaver is being tended to. Okay. 
which is going to put him down. Scorpion's gone off into a daze because of poor mood due to being in serious pain. So one thing after another here. One thing after another. Ah, oh, blowback operation. Okay, that's that's nice. Let's get gun turrets queued up and get them next. Uh, do we have any crafting pending? What? Oh, there's art on this chair. Wow, it's an excellent dime chair. Huh. No, we've made all our... Pump oh, we've got another pump shotgun. Uh, who were we going to give that to? Um, you already got one. You've got a rifle. Ugh. I mean, we could give it a worm. Don't fight. You definitely have a passion for melee, so we want to probably get you to build your melee skill. Uh, I guess we could give Worm a shotgun instead of his knife. I mean, he's kind of terrible either way, but it's sure, you know what, go go grab that shotgun. There you go, buddy. You, you, get, you, get, you get a shotgun. Uh, now we can craft some new types of guns. Um, let's have a look. Let's pause while we mess around with this. We can do a machine pistol or an auto pistol, so... Uh, very light in the hands. Uh, its accuracy is great at close and then drops off rapidly. Fires in bursts of three, though. Uh, damage is terrible, however. Hmm. Not really sold. Uh, what's our other option? Is the auto pistol. Uh, which again is reasonably accurate. Up close, reasonable stopping power. Pretty good cooldown, but I think like the shotgun like, just beats it at this kind of range. So yeah, I can't really, can't really say that they either of them looks good. I think we're just going to use this as a kind of you know the blowback operation as a uh, a stopping point on our way to gun turrets and um, um, gas operation as well. It's potentially pretty good. Yeah, we get like heavy SMGs which are amazing. Oh, that's fine. You just carry on researching, Worm. Uh, we're low on meat again, so... Uh, where's Galga? Okay, so let's draft you. Uh, yeah, actually, Worm, let's grab you. Let's grab Cabanas. Who else has a rifle? Uh, and Nat, who's sleeping. A tough get up. Colony's running low again. Uh, so let's get you all out here. Let's farm a, a hunting party up. Alright, brave guys, let's go. Where's those? Uh, God, right, actually, I'm not messing with them. Uh, there's buffalo up there. Let's go, let's go visit these buffalo. Uh-oh, disease infection. Oh, who's infected? Scorpion's infected. Oh, and he's having a sad wander. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Um... Okay, Parish. What, what, what are you doing at the moment? You are resting. I can't even get her to tend him while he's having his, his sad wander. Are you trying to rest him? It might be the best for his own good. We really need to get that infection tended to. Uh, while well, you guys are off to, to hunt. Um, it's not good. Come, Parish. Yeah, get him. There you go. Okay, um, let's have this lot. Oh, no, don't mount. Open fire on that. Good. Open fire on that one. Oh, come here. That one. Uh, but quickly, I need to just check that Parish is. We'll undraft you, prioritize, tending to Scorpion. Uh, and that. That's. Oh, no, okay, it's fine. It died before it could revenge. Keep shooting. Our shotgun, folks. Got that one. Oh. Get it. Come on, guys. It's like right there. Kill it. There you go. Finally. Okay, you're free to go. Extreme break risk for worm. Come on, guys. Please hold it together. How scorpions infection? 
Uh, uh, yeah, that's looking like we might have got to it now. Oh, don't tell me. Do we need to re-recruit him? Well, I mean... <laughs> If it's so be it. If it's what we had to do to make him not just die of an infection, then okay, it's what we needed to do to make him not die of an infection. Um, I'd rather have to go through the hassle of trying to re-recruit him and have him die. Yeah, his immunity is climbed out ahead of the infection. Okay, good, we got him. He's fine. <sighs> Treating our various muffalo. Uh, so who's going to have to be doing the cooking while... Uh, we don't have access to Scorpion because he's a prisoner. Um, that's going to be Chemass. But first, you've got to you know work on our recruitment. Oh, you're you're terrible at it as well. But I mean, God, you know, God is the same. Yeah, we don't really have much choice. <laughs> I know you're terrible at social, but I just need you to do it. Sorry, Scorpion, but, you know, it's just what had to happen. Uh, what's Beaver up to? You're busy deconstructing us. Oh, this is... Really? Cave tile deconstruction steel. Okay, I know Galaga's off for another What's Hand Wonder because her husband died. I mean, there's not a huge amount we can uh, do about that, but... Oh, this is this is rough. We need to maybe see if we can do something. Oh, medical emergency. Scorpion. Oh no, he's developed immunity to his infection. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's maybe see about increasing the comfort of these bedrooms. Um, so if we build. Uh, end tables, and I'm going to make them out of marble, because marble, A, we've got loads of it, and B, it's very pretty. So if you put an end table by the head of each bed, that will help with mood, and the comfort of the bed, and we can also construct a dresser to the same effect. So again, let's go with marble, and stick dresser in each of these, yep, even our prisoners. Improve their mood. Uh, oh. I think we put that one the wrong way around. There we go. That one's all looking okay. Sure, okay. Uh, so <laughs> that'll keep Beaver busy for a while, but it should hopefully improve uh, the kind of quality of these. Yeah, because then, yeah, they're not great. This should hopefully get that cranked up. We've at least got a somewhat impressive dining room. Nat has gotten food poisoning just to really help with our current situation there. That's, that's wonderful. Uh, okay, let's get some more slate hauled in so we can keep making slate blocks. And a low psychic drone female. Great, so the girls are going to be feeling even less happy. Yeah, minus another minus twelve for the girls. That's that's amazing. Um, Parrish is wearing that. Oh, that Elatex helmet, which I don't really know why. Uh, let's get a simple helmet queued up for her. <sighs> Never rains, but it pours. Simple helmet made, which we're gonna tell Parish to go wear. Yeah, I need you to wear that. You want to get it on? There you go. Better. You're meditating. Are you psychic? No. So why are you meditating? That's what that's all about. Uh, we've got tons of meat. Uh, what, what are you doing at the moment, Camas? You're reducing the volume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need you doing that, and then go and, go and get cooking. Yep, he's, he's going to cook. Good, 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 good. I'm going to keep on top of that, because I don't need to add starvation uh, on top of 
everybody being super super upset. Um, Nat is also helping out with construction. He's kind of terrible at it, but why are you wearing the Altex helmet? Oh, leave the thing. Oh, no, I don't want you wearing that. I want you wearing the steel helmet. Why is everybody fascinated by wearing this Altex helmet? What's so amazing about it? Heat resistance. 15% psychic sensitivity, which I'm not sure is necessarily a good thing. <laughs> I've no idea why everybody is so obsessed with this this LTX helmet. Um, I suppose what we can do is let's see new outfit. Let's uh, so we uh, we want not ragged. We'll call this. Whoa, whoa. I need to. Uh, not ragged. So, uh, what we want to make sure is that it is at least 51% hit points. Uh, let's... Hmm. I don't know how that will affect things, but we'll give it a try and see what happens. Uh, let's get rid of all that. We want you always wearing... Yeah. When you're always wearing something out of the armor uh, category. We'll deselect these for now. What I'm probably going to do is create a separate combat setting which will have armor in so that we'll get people to gear up if it looks like there's going to be a fight. Uh, we don't have any noble power, but I'm going to get rid of that. Um, we're not using dusters, get rid of all the LTX stuff. Yeah, button-down shirts, jackets, pants, parkas if we've got them. There. Oh. Uh, no tainted. Don't don't wear tainted. Those. Hmm. Okay. I uh, should leave them in. I'm not entirely sure what they do. I don't want to. Let's see if that does what we want. And then we want everybody to be doing that. Oh, for goodness sake, Nat. Because he's malnourished. He's gone bonkers right. Uh, and he's got a freaking rifle. Um. I really don't want to shoot him with a shotgun, that's just asking for trouble. Where is Parrish with her mace? Where are you, Parrish? You're miles... Well, no, no, you're not that far away. Get get in here, I need you to go beep worm down. Come on, run, Parrish, run! No, don't shoot him. Okay. <sighs> Rescue him. I swear, this, this one thing after another. Are you hurt, worm? Uh, it looks like he hit butt stroked you a couple of times with the rifle, but you're otherwise okay. All right, well, that's us past the 20 minute mark, so um, I'm going to go ahead and put a break in here. This is uh, just one thing after another recently, but we're getting there. Uh, as always, if you have any comments, suggestions, questions, anything like that, feel free to comment below. If you've enjoyed this, please do think about giving it a like. It really helps the channel out. And if you want to keep on with us, then uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel, and I will see you. Uh, I will see you next time.